Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Crossing Christine. Um, I'm new at this, so I just got the capture card and I hope that I'm doing this right. But I wanted to do a little tour of my island because I'm getting ready to flatten it. Um, I don't want to restart because I don't want to lose all my progress. And I want to take you guys on a little tour. And you can get to know me as we're running around the island here. And that way I also have a recording of this island. Um, because I'm going to change it to a more Halloween themed island. And I want to, you know, bring you along for the journey and do some builds with you. And I have over 2,800, maybe 3,000 hours at this point on this island. And um, it was a real godsend during the pandemic. This channel is meant for 16 plus people. Because I do swear. And sometimes there's a, adult themes on the channel. Well, there will be. So this is my brand new channel. Um... Please like and subscribe if you would like, if you like this content. And let's get started. Um, I don't have a theme for this island. It's just like as things were introduced to me, um, I just started building. It, building was a new thing to me altogether. Um, I'm 56 years old. I've been playing Animal Crossing since it was on GameCube. I originally got it to teach my daughter um, punctuation and capitalization, things like that, because letters used to be a real big thing on the first Animal Crossing. So, um, I thought it would help her, and it did. It did, but she, she became bored with it right away, but I continued on. The only version of Animal Crossing that I have not played is New Leaf, unfortunately. I, and I don't have the system to play it on. Um, that was a very busy time in my life when that came out. And I was working 50, 60 hours a week. So, I am a mom and a grandma. And as of right now, I'm the only one in my family that plays Animal Crossing. Alright, so let's get started. This is my airport. It's orange, as you can see. There's our flag. That is a downloaded um, design. So we'll start over here with Seaside. I mean, this is Kyle's house. Oh, let me show you the map. This is the map. It took me a long time to get used to waterscaping. So then we have some funny characters on our island. And they're, I know it's called Wolf Town, but I named it that because that's what the original island, all the way from GameCube th through City Folk, was named. And um, these are my villagers. And I love them all. And there's my map. Alright, let's get started. So... When you get come out of the airport, sorry, I started to do the Halloween a little bit, and then I figured out the capture card. I was really struggling with it. Um, so this is Seaside. I'll bring you up the beach. I'll do the beaches later. So as you walk down, this is Skye's house, and her little artist. She likes art. And this is Raymond and Marshall's house they own a little shop on the other side of the island where they they sell fruit and homemade items and things of that nature and you cross this bridge and this is chief's house he uh, has a little fuel station for boats and he works on boats he's a fisherman and he owns this fish shop here it's on the beach. Rents out boats and fishing poles. This is Lottie's house. She owns a surf shop down on the beach. 
and this is Whitney. She's pretty new. I forget who she replaced, but she's pretty new. I think she is the newest villager here, and I have not made her anything like a shop or anything. Just the back of the island with the lighthouse. So I'll work my way up. All right, so little fairy village. that leads up to my house. That's what my house looks like. And I am going to take you in on a tour so that way I have a recording of my island before I flatten it. All except for the back room. That's just like a laundry room. But this is my living room. It's a little crazy, I know. I like weird colors. So we'll run over here. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try to not make this the longest video of, in time. All right, so it's my bathroom. I love this glow stuff that they came out with the 2.0, and I love it that Brewster's here. I was so excited, I cried and everything watching the the premiere that I could hardly stand myself. I was so excited. And Captain, I really missed him. So here is my kitchen. All right, let me jump down. I have that Brewster's uh, gyroid in there, and he's always cooing around. It's kind of neat. All right, downstairs is my bedroom. In the basement. So this is the bedroom. And then we're going to go all the way upstairs to the witch's room. Because this island has dark secrets. Anyway, here's the witch's room. I love that. We got all our spell making stuff. A little secret door back there. Ingredients laying all over the tables. So that's the house. Let's get out of here before somebody visits. I tried to record this earlier when I was just testing it out and Chief invited me to his house and we took forever. But anyway, that's my house. And if you come through here, there's this little shady area. We have gnomes that are mining out of the mines. And this is the secret beach where they load all their gemstones and they rob people. You know, there's some dead people dead skeletons. Anyway, some water. Little water area with the frogs. I think they're so cute. And then like a little park. So we're coming up on, as you can see, I started to do the Halloween thing. I'm not. And then I figured it out. So this is Ioni's house. This is on the other side across from Chief's. It's all like a little fishing town. And if you up here, the museum is up here. It has a little area in the back. And some statues and museum stuff. Oh, I think so cute, isn't she? I love her so much. Alright, so back to the front. This is where you came in on the airport. And go this way and we have our little seating area flowers oh uh, I love him anyway this is the resident services and Marshall will be a nosy and we have a little restaurant here 
and a little ice cream shop where you can pull your boat up get some ice cream and there's not just ice cream you can get cookies and it's a goodie shop I should have got on here and cleaned up the island like the sticks and stuff but I didn't okay so you can go back across the airports that way and we'll run down here I, I guess I can show you this part of the beach this is Audie's um, surf shop. Mm. Little Moon Cafe. And as you can see across there, there's the the uh, ice cream shop. And you cross the bridge and you get to the pub. Kyle and I only own this pub, so. It has some interesting elements to it. We've got our little dance floor areas and the bartender drinks. And then over on this side, we have a little band. Sorry about the sticks. So if we come across here. We have another band area of gyroids. And this is a little mini bar area for the campground. And then this is where Cap'n's at with his island tours. Over here you can do your workouts and yoga and, and all that. And if you cut back across behind the pub, this is where Marshall and Raymond have their little shop. It's a little bric-a-brac shop. They sell home goods and all kinds of stuff. Right now the gnomes being the cashier. Okay, seriously, you're creeping on me? Okay, weirdo. Little carnival. And over here is my, the pipe that goes to my house. Anyway, here's um, Abel Sisters. Nook's Cranny. And this is where one of our residents live, Jeffrey. And he owns a little makeup company. He has a little shop on the inside and then he lives and all his dogs are there and whatnot. And this part of the beach, like right past the rock where you can do your yoga, there's a little playground for kids. And the rest of the beach is not done. So as you run up here, this is Shino and Kabuki's lair. That's Shino's house. And all her little yard stuff. And this is Kabuki's house. And this is his little shop of handmade bamboo items. And then over this way, Shino and Kabuki own this um, garden shop with a little honey stand. And they sell flowers and, and their stuff. And then they also own, because they are major entrepreneurs up here. They also, whoops, I went down the wrong way. They also own this little restaurant. They serve Japanese cuisine. And look at her. Isn't she cute? Why is your head always down? You need some confidence, girl. Alright, so we're going to go up this way. We're going to climb up. And it's just a little area. This used to be like a little picnic area, but I was messing around trying some patterns out in that to see what they would look like. That's what this all is. But up here is our farm. This is Shane's place. And if you know, you know. And there's a little alien ship back there. Alright, so. This is Shane's farm. 
And this is the barn I built. Thought it came out cute. And these are our little animals. Our crops. And I think I got everything except for the front beach. Oh no, I didn't do all the beaches. So we'll run back. Let's run. I gotta pick up those sticks and clean this place up. Anyway, this island originally started off as kind of like a fairy core island. And then as things became available, I'll say this. I've only time traveled maybe four or five times on this island. And... Actually, today's one of them. Today would make six times because I put the time to daytime so you guys can see everything. And I don't use those islands where you can go pick up all the goods and all that stuff. Treasure islands, I don't, I don't, I don't use those. So everything that's on here, I worked for, and I did get the DLC. You know, the paradise. Island Paradise thing. So this is our little place for CPR classes and, you know, place for you to sit down if you get a boo-boo and there's little medical stuff there on this beach. The other beach you already saw, it has Audi's thing. And these are little gyroid campsites. They're camping. Hanging out. And then over here, you can come relax and eat some popcorn, have some soda, watch a movie. Our residents love doing that. A lot of smooching going on the couch. And then, of course, down there is um, Chief's. This is just a little relaxation area. And then this is Chief's um, fish shop. And I think I covered everything. I'm not sure. But, okay, so let me um, tell you my plans. I originally was just going to Halloween this place up. Right? Then I got to thinking, you know, I, wouldn't, I don't know if I'll get my island removed or not. It's going to have to come with a warning label if I, if I save the dream code. But... At least I can record it now and have, you know, um, if I wanted to put it back this way, I could do that. And if you do visit the dream address, oh god. Oh no, I'm being invited to Raymond's. Okay, we'll do it, sure. Alright, so while we're over at Raymond's, I'll tell you, you know, I just want to make something really cool and scary. That when people see it, they're like, wow. And then, too, maybe go over some of the, the ways that I build stuff. Not that I'm the greatest builder or terraformer, but I'm getting better at it. I mean, the water, the water that escaping was really crazy for what it took me a long time. Anyway, this is Raymond's house. This is how I redid his island. Or, oh my gosh, his house. And um, I think it's cute. I like the colors. Oh my god, he made me sign a disclosure. Well, you shady little creep. What are you hiding in here? You're hiding something. Alright, hurry up. Can I leave? <laughs> He loves cooking with his microwave. He has a brand new stove over there. I got a creep. You should be making gourmet meals over here. You got the best of everything. Raymond's such an ingrate. He's cute, though. Um, I have not um, brought anyone in by Amiibo card except for Kabuki. And I have a real... 
love for Kabuki. He was one of my first residents on my original island. And you know, back in the day, sometimes they would just randomly leave. And I can remember actually being very sad when he left because I did everything he wanted from the green furniture to planting all those flowers. And my daughter got me the amiibo for my birthday for Kabuki and I amiiboed him in. But all my other residents were found. Um, speaking of my daughter, there she just popped on. <laughs> Um, all the other ones I found by chance, and I really wanted Raymond to, and, um, right after the 2.0 update, and they introduced all those, yeah, okay, I got Raymond's photo, yay, that's one I'm missing. He's such a cutie. Anyway, getting back to Raymond. Um, I loved him so much, and I was almost going to buy the Amiibo card for him or try to trade it with someone. And right after the 2.0, and they introduced all those cuties like Shino and um, Ioni, those two, just I just love them so much. I bought 100 tickets and used every ticket that I, you know, all the money that I had, the coins, the, I can't think of it now, the, the money that you used to buy the tickets. I bought a hundred of them and I thought, I am going to go on a, I want Chino and I want, um, Ioni. So one of my residents was leaving, I think it was, it was a little blue rabbit, Chrissy, and, um, she left and I was on an Ioni hunt. And wouldn't you know it, first island, after all, almost two years, almost two years of hoping and trying to find Raymond, there he is, first ticket, I got Raymond, so, then someone else left, and then, oh no, Shino came as a, um, campsite villager, or visitor, oops, visitor, sorry guys, and uh, that's how I got Shino, but I love my wolves, and at one point, I mean, I wolves don't show up a lot for me on, um, on, you know, villager hunts, they just don't, I don't know why, but, um, like I said, I'll show you my map, whoops, one more time, and, um, I have five wolves, and then I can never give up Kabuki, ever. And I like him and Shino together. They pal around a lot, and then plus they own all those restaurants. Kyle and Ioni got together. I originally thought that Marshall and Ioni would be be a thing, but no, it ended up um, Raymond and Marshall are having a relationship. And then Audie and um, Whitney are having a relationship. And Kyle's with Ioni. And Chief's just like the perpetual bachelor. And then Kabuki and Shino are, are a thing. Then we have Jeffrey and Shane. And if you go to the dream address, which is right here. Um, you can look inside their houses. And you'll probably, if you know, you know, you'll figure out who they actually are. So, with that being said, please like and subscribe. A brand new channel and I am going to put some credit to the young lady who I cannot think of her channel name at this moment that put a video up on how to hook up this capture card and start recording and my thank many thanks to her and I will give her credit down in the um, description below and um, like I said welcome to my channel please like and subscribe and please hang around for a little while. Um, in the next week, I'm going to film some. I'm going to flatten this island. It's probably going to take me like three days. And then I'll be back. And we're going to start making a spooky Halloween island. Until next time. Bye.